Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Brandon Parker with another tutorial on Sunny Vegas. This time this tutorial is on how to match your beat to, uh, a, match your video to the beat of a song. I already have uh, my virtual version of Windows open. So I'm going to show you what I've done. Uh, I'm waiting for it to render out uh, this section I'm going to show you. I'm doing a video on uh, Dollhouse and I decided uh, I'd do a tutorial on this since I got a request on, on, on how to match a video to the beat of a song. There's not really a, a tutorial on that and I thought I'd be a good person to do a tutorial on it because I do uh, videos to heavy metal songs and uh, so it's really hard to do uh, a video with the heavy metal song. You have to be really good in Sunny Vegas and and I'm uh, that person, and I'm that person to tell you how to do it. So to do it, like I'll show you what this looks like, and then I tell you how how it's, how I did it. Okay, what I did was I splitted the clips right down, and I made them to like really small, and then I closed them in a little bit. Like the more you close in, and you close and make your uh, transition a lot smaller the faster it's going to uh, flash and the faster it's going to do its thing and like if you have uh, like the spice master effect go to video effects and the spice master what I did with the spice master effect I went went and I used the dissolve direction I think it was the yeah directional misty dissolve I used that to lighten up my flashing right in here because right over in like right over back in here somewhere where is it let's see okay like right up in here this is where I added a uh, solid color and I added let's see I added white and I went to media generator solid color white on this part right in here and playing and judging by the beat of your uh, song you have to play around with it and see where the drums are hitting at their hardest and then you try to follow the flashes to that and I try to make my flashes a lot lighter in this video so there won't be too much flashing and have the flashing come out when it needs to like right in here and a little bit right in here I added like the, a, a new blue effect uh, which is the motion blur the new blue effects you have to download these I'll try to give you a link in the description to them where I can where it'll be really easy to get them there really isn't not that too many videos on YouTube like I thought there was to get them easily so I'll try to uh, give you a link to where to get them easily okay what I did here and this is what it's gonna look like what I'm gonna show you right it what I did here. Okay, just have to click that. And it looks pretty good. Other than, let's see. Yeah, and then you have to get down a little bit. Now I add like a lot more of flashing to make it uh, follow the beat of the heavy metal song. And it depends. It's good to always good to try and do uh, practice with the with the song that is pretty fast, like like maybe a, a rap song or heavy metal song, like like I do heavy metal songs to videos. Songs like those are really good songs to practice with. You don't really have to do a video to them. They're just really good song to to do uh, practicing with. And there's a bunch of other things that I did like. I closed in with the transitions, made the clips a little smaller, play a little bit slower at certain parts. And then with this clip, another good trick is that I that I've noticed in a couple of videos that I've seen that are really good is like in this notebook video that I seen, uh at certain parts of the song, he, what it, what this person did was made the uh clips uh freeze for a second and then and then go back to moving. What he did was, I think this is what he, he or she, whoever it was, did. Uh, this was like save the, 
a snapshot of the picture and this is what happens when you say the snapshot of the picture you have a bunch of these like this is what I saved this picture and it freezes like like it would be called like a uh, freeze in time or whatever motion or whatever and this is what it looks like when I play that part it takes a while to uh, uh, render this part and so that you could view your effects yeah. Mostly that's what you have to do in your editing programs. Like I use Final Cut as well, and I have to render out to see the effects and stuff. It's pretty much what you have to do here if you want no lagging on your video. This is what it looks like. And then what I did, uh, just what I did here is I just zoomed in on it in the uh, event pan and crop. It is zoomed in right in uh, at this time, at the end of the clip. I just zoomed in on it and froze it at whatever point I wanted it to uh, zoom in at, depending on your song's beat. And it's kind of difficult to 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 master what what I'm doing with my videos. You have to be skilled with the effects and stuff, and be able to. Uh, add like different uh like you have to add like different uh channels and videos video channels and stuff and to make things easier on yourself if you always want to have the same uh effect on your channel and you're going to use it all the time like with the color and all this right in right in here all i did was with the all this right in here all, all I did was uh, just went into the track effect and I added uh, the color I wanted and whatever. I showed you how to get this color, uh, to get the color like s similar to something like this in my uh, part one of my Sony Vegas tips and tricks. And a little bit on my part two video. My part two is a little quick tips and trick. This one's a little bit, uh, just more on how to get your video to follow the beat of the song and I hope this tutorial helps you out it's pretty much what, what I do in my videos is just add this and whatever and it's pretty much it uh, I, I didn't explain more but I don't want to go past 10 minutes and I will go past 10 minutes if I could but uh, Sonny uh, I'm not a partner yet and if you subscribe to me and get me uh, to you 700 subscribers or more I could probably do 10 minutes or more on my videos more than 10 minutes so subscribe comment rate and hopefully this helps you follow the beat of the song of whatever song you're doing and that's it